This is the evening news update for Info Live TV, April 29th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Chief of General Staff Lieutenant General Gabi Ashkenazi warned today that Hezbollah is moving closer to the southern Lebanon border. The United Nations troops and southern Lebanese army pre- present in the area appear to be incapable of stopping the Hezbollah from moving south of the Litani. As the countdown continues for the publishing of the Winograd Committee's interim report, leaked to the press have generated harsh criticism from all political spheres. Ahud Olmert made hasty decisions and lacked leadership quality. Both the defense minister and the former chief of staff came under fire. If the Palestinian Qassam rocket attacks continue, the army will have no alternative but to launch a large ground offensive, the chief of staff said today. The Egyptian envoy in Gaza called on the Palestinians to halt the attacks. A letter sent by Yad Vashem to the United Nations Secretary General declared that the genocide in Sudan must be stopped and military forces sent as mere statements are no longer sufficient. Today the international community called on the world to show its support for Darfur. The foreign ministry has launched a campaign aimed at encouraging Israelis to take part in humanitarian aid programs in third world countries through UN programs. Despite the interest rate cuts by the Bank of Israel, the shekel continues to soar and rose to a seven-year high against the dollar. In for Life TV, interviewed residents in Sterot, victims of a recent rocket attack. And we asked the Israeli public about their thoughts on the Winograd Committee report. TV, the world's first Info television live. channel broadcasting TV, on the, the web in first four television languages, channel broadcasting live from on the web in four languages. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, if you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv.